In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to land web design clients without doing any outreach. And the best part is that you can do this as a complete beginner without having any past clients or even a portfolio. So if you're a web designer and you're tired of sending thousands of emails, hundreds of DMs via Instagram, or spending hours doing cold calls, and instead you want clients to come to you and ask if they can work with you, then this video is for you. And if you actually watch and apply the method in this video, you're not just going to be one of the only web designers in the world doing this, but you're immediately going to be seen as an expert and you're going to have more clients than you could ever imagine. So what is the secret method that I am talking about? It is the content funnel. Now I know before you go, because I know some of you are going to be like, oh, I don't want to create content. That's fine because everybody else, everybody who's watching this video and actually wants to become a successful web designer and stand out and be one of the only web designers in the world who doesn't have to do any outreach anymore, they're going to be happy that they have less competition. So you can go ahead and leave. Now, for those of you who want to take this seriously, this is where the magic begins. Now, what we have right here is the top part of the content funnel. These are the first steps that a lead is going to take to interact with you and become a client. They're either gonna watch a video or go on a post, and then they're either gonna comment a specific word, I'll go into this in a second, or DM you a word. Or if they go to your account, they're either gonna click on a link in your bio or they're going to DM you a word as well. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you the single best piece of content that you can create as a web designer, and I'm gonna show that in just a second. Also. This isn't the end of the funnel. There are lots of other things that you need to consider with your bio, what links should you have, what words should you have. And if you want to see the rest of this funnel, complete funnel, then you can join the free, completely free school, the free web agency accelerator. Link is in the description. And this is it. We almost have 3,000 members in the free school. Uh, we go on a group coaching call, a free group coaching call every single week. I also upload every single week, one or two exclusive pieces of content around, you know, content, around offer, around how to sell a website. And it's very, very active, like very active. This is just in the last, uh, well, 12 hours. And I also reply to some of your comments as well. Uh, link is in the description and I'll see you in there. So let's take a look at an example piece of content that we can replicate as a web designer to get clients from Instagram. You could also do this for TikTok, for probably LinkedIn, for Facebook, for YouTube, whatever you want. Let's go watch it. And I'll break it down after watching it. Hey, oh baby, this is your profile audit. First things first, pay for verification. Second thing, love the profile picture. Third thing, online fitness coach. I wouldn't put that there. Instead, I put women's weight loss expert or women's fat loss coach or women's hourglass coach. Fourth thing, I help girls get the curve super clear. I would say DM me peach for info instead of reserve my new booty program. DM me peach for my booty program. Apply for one-on-one training, looks good. I wouldn't have a link tree here. I would have an application because if you have a link tree, people are gonna click. They're not gonna know what to choose. And then they're just gonna scroll away and you lost a potential customer. Overall, I'd give you a seven out of 10. Make these small changes, you're going to start making a lot more money. That's it, right? I don't know how long that was. I'm guessing like 30 seconds or so, maybe even less. And I'm going to show you an example in a second of a web designer. And I'm also going to talk about what you can do as a web designer. The reason this is so effective, he's not showing any past client work, but he's showing that he knows what he's talking about. And overall, the most important thing about creating content for your clients or to get clients to come to you isn't to show them what to do, right? How to create a website, um, how, you know, which funnel is the best or or which uh, design or layout is the best. The most important thing is why. You need to show your clients, your potential clients, why they need a website. And so instead of showing them tools that they can use to create a nice website or, you know, how to to do the technical SEO stuff, they don't care about that. They need to know why. Why is SEO going to help them, right? It's going to help because they're going to show up high on Google and therefore they're going to get more traffic and more leads and more clients. That's a very basic level overview. Or if it's conversion rates, right? Don't tell them that, um, you know, they need to change this color, they need to change this and this and that, or, you know, this layout looks a lot better. You just need to very briefly tell them why, why is this going to help them? Because it has something to do with, um, I don't know, user preference or because in the first, you know, two seconds of somebody being on a website, there needs to be a very clear call to action. It needs to be on the center of the screen, et cetera, et cetera. Why, why is this website going to help them? And that is how you're going to get them to trust you and book a call with you. So what Brian has done really well, again, he helps fitness coaches 
with their Instagram account, but you can replicate this with a website. And I'll show you that in a second. What he did really well is he took a couple of things on the account and he critiqued it, right? And so let's do this right now ourselves. So this is a dentist company in London. And so what I would do now is you can either print this out, right? Just like Brian did, and then use a marker to make the comments, or you can uh, import this into Figma. There's a plugin that you can use to import any website into Figma. Uh, join the free school of the plugin will be there or you can just record the screen like this or record the screen with a screen recording software like loom or whatever or you know what i'm using right now link is in the description and then again choose three things that you would critique so as an example it could be that the logo is way too big and the banner is just you know taking up too much real estate number two is that be the best version of your uh, of you that's a very, it's not very a direct um, headline. So it could be the headline. And then finally, you could choose something else. Um, I'm guessing, well, th- there's no picture of good teeth, right? So yes, yeah, so that's one more thing, right? So maybe adding a better picture to the, the top section. Again, this is just an example, right? Then you would take 20 seconds and comment on those three things. And remember to tell them why. Why is that? Why is it bad that the logo is so big? Uh, so big. Why is it bad that there isn't a picture of teeth? One important thing to note with content is to change positive language to negative language. It's a lot more intriguing. They're going to get a lot, or, or they're going to get hooked a lot better, right? So, so instead of saying, "Make the logo smaller because it will be better for this." say the logo is way too big because right now it's doing this negatively, right? So turn the good into the bad or turn the positive into the negative uh, language. And then again, in Figma, you could do this, right? You could actually make it smaller. You could change the picture. You could change the the headline. And so you're giving out free value for for free, right? Which is insane. Like you're, you're taking a website, which you don't have any work with, right? You don't have any past clients, any past portfolio, You're giving out value. You're showing that you know what you're talking about. And again, tell them why, like give them some statistics, why, you know, this headline could be better. Maybe it works better for SEO. You could do some SEO research as an example. And then at the end, just like Brian does, you can also give them a rating. So overall, I would rate this website a six out of 10. Make these small changes and you'll have more booked calls in the next two weeks without spending any money on ads you know, you're welcome. And then for your own call to action, you can then say, but if you would like me to do this all for you, DM me the word free or DM me the word website and we'll schedule a free call or, you know, um, or I'll send you a free website audit or whatever your call to action is, is going to be. And one thing to remember is you can also tag these companies. So it's also a form of outreach, right? Which is awesome. So you can then, you know, tag the company. They'll hopefully see it and they'll either reach out to you or they won't. But some other companies will see this video and think, wait, the companies that you're reviewing, they're getting free advertising, right? Even if it's not, you know, the best advertising, it's still free exposure. So they might want to get the same video done by you. And that is where you then have this description or or this um, caption. Uh, Comment audit and I'll choose you and audit your social media profile so you can start attracting more clients and making more money. So obviously change this for websites, right? So you can say comment audit and I'll choose you and audit your website so you can start attracting more clients and making more money whatever your offer is. So you're doing so many different things at the same time. You're creating content, which is going to help you get out there on social media to get email clients, right? You're doing a bit of outreach and you are getting potential more leads by mentioning that you can do the same video for their company. And that's also gonna help engage your your posts, which will help the algorithm boost your, your videos and your account. And so as you can see, there are a ton of people commenting, order, order, please, order, 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 and so many more just by watching this free video and instantly you've got leads that are interested in your services and in your videos, in your content. And so these are pretty much all warm leads, right? Uh, Which you can engage with, right? So you can actually message all of these afterwards uh, individually or you'll create many more videos and then publish those to YouTube, to Instagram, to TikTok, to LinkedIn 
etc, etc. Now, before I show you a video of a web designer using this exact method, if you want direct help with your content, with your Instagram bio, with your outreach, with your offer, with uh, pricing, with finding your niche, with anything that you can possibly think of, we also have a pro school where you get free go high level and myself as a coach. Like seriously, you get me as a coach and as a mentor because I will spend many or multiple hours per day replying to every single question that you have, whether that be in the Instagram DMs or in the school platform right here. We have four hour or four hours of group coaching calls every single week extra in the pro school. So right here's an example of a group coaching call we literally had yesterday where I was helping or we were helping out uh, somebody's account with their bio, with what content to create. You get unlimited free go high level sub accounts, sales scripts, all my resources, outreach and inbound strategies. So actually, let me show you. We have a 30 minute video of example pieces of content. We have like 10 or 15 different accounts that we look at and pieces of content that you can create. In the pro school right now, I make notes on every group call about what the students want to do in that next couple of days, and I will keep you accountable. So a lot of people have told me to literally charge thousands of dollars for the amount of value and time that I put into this and every single student, because I truly want to be seen as a friend with you. Um, just as an example, here are some reviews from some of the students, and uh, Jura has said it very nicely, uh, in my opinion, he doesn't see us as his students, but rather as his friends. And I'm not about money first. And that's exactly what I do, right? I keep notes. I keep you accountable. I check up on you and make sure that, you know, we're doing as much as we can so that you can achieve your goals. The second you actually join the the, the group, you fill out a 12-week execution plan, regardless of how long you stay in the group. And you choose three goals that you want to achieve in the next three months. That could be reaching $10,000 per month. It can be 5K per month, setting your first website. And I will also make a review video, just like this one, which I made a 24-minute video review and gave you know, actionable advice and feedback on what you have to do to achieve those goals. So again, if you're a web designer and you want to make $10,000 per month as soon as possible, or more and you want myself as a coach or just want a group of individuals to get direct feedback on any questions you have unlimited free go high level sub accounts with ai automations pre-built onto the account also uh, all outreach and inbound strategies are here and you can also check out some of the reviews there as well plus if you join for the annual plan you'll get 33 percent off and four extra one-on-one -on -one calls, which are valued at $1,500. Uh, yeah, again, link is in the description. I can't wait to see you in there. But now let's head back to the video. So this is Max, and he does pretty much the strategy that I'm talking about with the video review. Let's have a quick look at what he does. My name is Max, I fix company websites, and I was asked to take a look at bluetreefinancing.com. This site is suffering from two major problems. The first one is it just looks kind of boring. The second issue is that it's a bit of a poor user experience. I'm kind of forced to scroll through all these sections to get the information that I need, but I think we can make it more concise. Let's start with a linear blue grid. There we go, right? Uh, that's all you need to see. So he does exactly what I'm talking about. He briefly mentions two or three touch points, which are you know negatively affecting the website and therefore the business and therefore, you know, the you know, not getting clients, not making money. And then he basically imports it into Figma and makes the changes for free, right? So again, he got people asking him if they can make a video about their website for free. It's great for him because he's making content around it. As you can see, he got a lot of likes, right? Got a lot of views. And he is showing them what to do, right? He's, he's doing the work, giving out free value. And then afterwards, it's how you create your funnel, right? So that is this basically, your content funnel. What word should they comment to do what? You know, what's the call to action? What are they gonna DM you? You know, um, how does your bio look like? All of these questions are very important because if your account or if your bio doesn't look right or you have the wrong word or the wrong action or you don't have a good offer, then everything kind of falls apart. But that is basically it, right? So this is super powerful. I know some of you might not see the power of this or the importance of this, but please, if you are one of the only people that actually do stuff and don't just think about doing it, you're, you are gonna succeed. Please, like if you wanna stop doing outreach, you wanna get clients to come to you, you wanna build a following so you can sell higher ticket websites, so websites for a lot more in price and value, 
than start creating content. And this is the single best piece of content that you can create as a beginner, as an expert, because you don't need any past clients, you don't need a portfolio, you don't need to put in a lot of effort, you're giving out free value, you're asking for something in return, right? A comment, a DM, and even if they don't do that, they still will have seen you as an expert and they will be a lot warmer as a lead for the future. And there is a much higher possibility and likelihood that they're going to reach out to you and ask if, hey, can you redo our website? We really like the video that you created. Looks like you know where your stuff. Uh, let's have on a quick call and let's get this done, right? That's, of course, the best uh, outcome, but it's very possible. And with all of this, your offer is the single most important thing because that is what's going to determine your bio. That's going to determine what you say at the beginning of this video. And if you don't have a good offer, regardless of how good your services are, your offer, that one statement piece, your guarantee, um, you know, the value that you're providing, who your target audience is, that is what's that's what's going to get people hooked. And if you don't have a good offer, then it's going to be very hard to get people excited or to get people interested in working with you. So I hope this is giving you some ideas. Again, the free school with this funnel is in the description. But if you want direct feedback and help from me, one-on-one support as a coach, free or high level and everything, help with your bio, with your content, with your offer, with your niche, whatever, uh, you can follow the second link in the description for the pro school and I will see you soon. Uh, let me know what you thought about this. If you'd like to see more videos like this around content, uh, just comment down below. A like will be very much appreciated. You can also subscribe. That'd be awesome. And lastly, do not forget to maximize your luck. Bye.